everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode, Lame and Fortune. So Lame and Fortune is about when SpongeBob discovers this crate filled with all of these fortune cookies after this crate and then of course plankton finds out about all these fortune cookies so plankton creates a devious plan to make all these fortunes that are bad so people can go eat at the chum bucket just hearing the concept actually had me quite excited for this episode because i love the fact that they're doing an episode on fortune cookies and with a great concept like this does the episode reach to its full potential uh, it doesn't i thought this was just an okay episode personally now for the first four minutes you guys the first four minutes I was really enjoying this episode. I really was having such a great time. I was going, yes, they're really reaching to their full potential so far. And then once Plankton pretty much shows up, that's when the episode went from being really good to just being, eh, okay. Now when it comes to my positives, yes, like I told you, the first four minutes were really freaking good. I really was having such a great time with the first four minutes because it started off something simple with Spongebob discovering all these fortune cookies and everyone at the Krusty Krab enjoying the fortune cookies and there are funny bits definitely there. You know, once Plankton shows up, there's funny moments here and there, but there aren't as much funny moments as there were in the first four minutes in my opinion. But I really did like how the episode started. I really just love the overall setup to this episode. And it was just honestly really cool to see the customers at the Krusty Krab reading the fortunes and seeing all these good things that happen to them. Like there's a funny gag where if the fish lady eats a hat, she'll fall in love. And guess what? She falls in love with the male fish that's also eating his hat. That was honestly very hysterical to me. And I do think the ending to this episode was very damn funny in my opinion. When Plankton is at this Chinese restaurant and then there's a person that opens up the fortune and plankton larry comes out of that fortune cookie and he gets eaten from there i actually thought the ending was very funny the episode has plenty of funny moments i do feel like for what the episode is trying to go for with the writing the writing was pretty decent at best and i think the episode as a whole does have very good execution to it however my negatives with this episode is like what i just said earlier once plankton showed up this episode became nowhere near as good as the first four minutes. Like pretty much from the moment Plankton shows up to the end, it just becomes a straight up okay episode with a few funny parts far in between in my opinion. So yeah, it's not like the moment Plankton shows up it turns into something god awful because that's not the case, it's not even close. I'm just sitting there going, hmm, yeah, this is okay. And it's such a shame that this turned into another Plankton episode because this was an episode I saw and just went. They could have seriously gone somewhere with this concept instead of turning to another Plankton episode. I just don't think it's necessary for this episode to be another Plankton episode. Like seriously, maybe after Spongebob shows everyone with the Krusty Krab the fortune cookies, he could have walked out to Bikini Bottom to show everyone the fortune cookies. He could have shown Sandy the fortune cookies. Like it would have been cool if Sandy actually appeared in this episode. Like. There's so much potential. There's so many other ways they could have gone with a really cool concept like this. Yeah, it's wasted by turning into another Plankton episode, in my opinion. And that's what makes this a very disappointing episode, to be honest. And not to mention, once the customers eat the fortune cookies that Plankton made, because Plankton made a bunch of these fortune cookies and switched the pile with the good fortune cookies that SpongeBob already had ready, the customers at the Krusty Krab open up these fortune cookies that are bad. And so because of that, they head to the chum bucket, like, really? I just thought that was very stupid, personally. Game and Fortune, as I said uh, right now, I just thought it was a very disappointing episode. Not a bad episode, you know. It was really good for the first four minutes, then after Plankton shows up, it just becomes 
an okay episode. Not terrible, not good, just a straight up okay episode. And as much as I really like the first four minutes, it unfortunately does not outweigh the majority of the episode being a Plankton episode. So with this being a mostly okay episode because the first four minutes being really good, I'm going to give Fame and Fortune a 6 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Lame and Fortune. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.